excited to be here with you today on our wedding day and uh, starting this next chapter together and throughout all of the craziness of 2020 all of the worries and concerns we made it and we're here our family and our friends who love us are here and all of the planning we're gonna be able to enjoy everything together today and it's gonna be such a wonderful memory and I look forward to sharing that with you and many more happy memories together in the future. I love you so much. Hun, Boo Boo, Bubba, I would say I can't wait to see you and I can't wait to be up there with you and I'm so excited to start this part of our life together and it means the world to me. I can't begin to express what this means to me because this is my life with you and we've been through hard times together and I know we'll be having hard times together in the future, but we can do this together and I just love you. Marriage is a mutual understanding. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in, entirely as a lover, companion, and friend. With this in mind, Natalie and Chris have asked to be united in marriage in spirit today. Natalie, you have taught me that two people joined together with respect, conviction, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You are the strength I didn't know I needed and the joy that I didn't know I lacked. Today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to encourage your compassion because that is what makes you truly unique and wonderful. I promise to laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to love and care for you and will try in every way to be worthy of your love. But most of all, I promise to be a true and loyal friend to you. You are my best friend. And there's still a part of me today that cannot believe I'm the one who gets to marry you. I vow to fiercely love you in all your forms, now and forever. I love you. I love you too. Chris, you are my rock, my strength, my other half and my best friend. I admire your kind heart, family values, and how you put others before yourself. These qualities are what make me certain that you will be a great husband and father one day. As your wife, I promise to put God and our marriage first. I know that with our love for each other, the support of our family and friends, and God's blessing, we can get through anything. I look forward to starting this next adventure together and the many memories and happy times that we have to look forward to. And no matter how old and wrinkly we get, I promise to never get tired of watching reruns of The Office, Forensic Files, old game shows with you in bed. I love you, Chris. And from this day forward, we'll try every day to make you a proud and happy husband. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Eastman. Today, you know, Natalie made a new promise, and it's with Chris. And I'm so grateful that it's similar promise to look after you, to care for you, to protect you because I know how seriously Natalie takes that promise and I equally know how seriously you take it. I have no doubt that you will look after each other and protect each other. I 
say special day because uh, when Natalie was a child, every day I spent with her was a special day. And I want you to keep that tradition, Chris, and realize every day you have with Natalie is a special day. She's a princess, and I'm glad she met her Prince Charming. I love you both so much, and I know that you'll be there for each other through thick and thin, and it's a sense of calm in this mad, mad world. Nat, what I've learned about you over the years is that you're kind, so loving, beyond caring, and I couldn't name a woman who I believe fits better with my best friend. With that said, can we all please raise our glasses and congratulate the new Mr. and Mrs. Eastman. Yeah.